got a question for you. So, do birds ever fly for fun or is it always they're going on a mission? This question goes for all animals. Do they ever just go about life and frolic about for fun or are they always on a mission? Now, let's, let's take it a step further. <clears throat> animals that are not domesticated because you could say, yeah, dogs like to play around and frolic. <sighs> and you see animals in a zoo and stuff, they playing around, but they're domesticated. They have contact or influence or interactions with humans. Does this provide a type of interference with what's, what would be naturally considered like fun for them. Do they do they go out and have fun on their own? I think I think it has something to also do maybe with the size of that animal community. If it's a large group of animals, like a troop of baboon or, or chimps, or maybe a large pack of animals, I think their safety in numbers and their security in knowing that food will be provided and so they don't have to always be on a mission. It allows a little room, a little wiggle room for play. I think, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking about these things. So, do animals have a culture? I was talking with a good friend of mine, Deacon, and he was telling me about the migratory patterns for monarch butterflies. And there's a part over, I think he said Lake Superior, where these butterflies they fly around a part, like instead of just going straight, they uh, fly around almost like this invis invisible barrier. So there was research done and dating a long, long time ago, there was a mountain that used to be in that area. So the butterflies, the monarch butterflies had to fly around that mountain. And here it is thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years later and they're still flying in this pattern as if they were going around this mountain. And <laughs> I think about the things that we do in our society that is no longer there or no longer prevalent, but this invisible thing that we still cling on to like the butterfly in our society, in our cultures that we still do because of tradition or that's how the things always were or whatever. Like, why do we have circle cakes for birthday? Why do we have cake on our birthday? Why is the cake circle? Sometimes it's square, but why is there candles on the cake? When you do research and you find out that answer, let me know in the comment. I know the answer and it's, it's very interesting where that origin comes from. I think it's fascinating. There's so many things that we do that's just, that's the way it's always been. That's the thing that we have done for a very long time. We don't even know why we do these things. So the conditioning that some species have could just be remnants from long ago. It was either a part of survival or just a part of the mission at the time. Now, you think about ant colonies, ants. <clears throat> the reason I could say animals and insects and other species have culture because there's a hierarchy in the ant colony from the queen on down to the worker. 
and bees, you know, hornets, wasp. There's there's a system for everything, for 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 all walks of life. It seems like there is a hierarchy. There is a system, and that's intentional, and that's culture, and and that culture could be cultivated or it could be created, depending on the conditioning at the time, what's going on at that time to uh, allow room for survival, allow room for fun, if you if you have the numbers um, to do that. And, um, or if it's just all business, all work, no play, all mission. There's, um, as for ant larvae, when they're, if, if, if the colony is being attacked or, or have been attacked a lot, then they feed more of the larvae to make warriors or to make soldiers, ant soldiers. Um, so that's, that's the only distinguishing difference between um, ant larvae is who gets fed more. If you're gonna become um, a, a worker ant or a warrior ant <laughs> or, um, you know, hunter gather, you know, like it all goes off of uh, your diet. And I think that like some of the food that gets provided to them, it goes into um, even their facial structure and their body type um, to make them, you know, adaptive and, and built for the environments that they may have to go out into uh, for, for de defense of that colony. So it's interesting, you know, life on this planet is very cool, very interesting. And I think humanity, we are a young species still figuring it out ourselves. There's a lot of species that exist that have been around a, a whole lot longer than we have. So, um, you know, if there was a an advanced alien life form civilization to come, uh, I, I think they probably would view us in the manner of how humans view worms. Some humans find worms very, earthworms very interesting. I am one of them. I think earthworms are very cool and we can learn a lot from earthworms because I think that we're very similar <laughs> in a lot of ways. We are worms, worms y'all. And I think that um, a high intelligent uh, life form out in the uni universe would probably view us as worms. We're not a threat. We're not really um, grown limbs, metaphorically. We're in our baby stage where we just are on the cusp of learning to stand after just crawling <laughs> for a very long time. So we haven't even taken really the steps to, to walk and catch stride. We're very young. We have a lot of room to grow and I think it's very crucial and very timing that we start coming together as a species and just figuring this thing out going forward because we're about to start walking soon. And um, do we want to be walking forward or backward? <laughs> you know, we've been crawling. Before crawling, we were just learning to roll over roll over and now we, then we started crawling and now we're we're standing we're, we're, we're standing look, look how close this bird is to me it was way closer it must be camera shy as soon as I turned the camera on it, it bounced away I had a bunch of them over here like this one over there but look are you are they on a mission it goes back to my question yo Friends, are you on a mission or are you having fun right now? That's the question of the day. Are we are we having fun or we're on a mission? Are we doing a little bit of both? Is there room for both? Peace, love, smile, truth, galaxy. I'm Zachary. Health is wealth to so take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others and be kind to nature. The universe will support you. I'm on my path. Are you on your path? I'm on my path. You on your path? All right. Love you. Have a good night.